Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you how to get, no, how to make a um, intro on Blender. So you want to download Blender, I'll put it in the description. Do you want to open that up? Here we go. Delete. Okay. But yeah. All right. You know. Delete. To add the text or anything, press spacebar, and it will come up with all these. You add. Go to text. You can press tab. And then backspace. And top whatever you want. Let's put just skater. Tab that. Um. To change the font, you want to go down to here, and you see. Well, that's there, so I'm going to be like a ball tin or something like that. That's the font. And you want to go on load. I'm going to type in Windows. Sorry. Oh shit, fuck me. Windows. Sorry, slash fonts. And then there you go. Got all these ones here. You can choose any of these. And I've also added some text into these as well. So you can't get this font that I've got now. So I, um, yeah, I downloaded that for website, downloaded it onto my fonts. So you've done that, and when you go to extrude, you just click that, the arrow to the right, so it goes with 10. You don't want it too thick, of course, uh, when you have the camera over the top, it will like too you like, no, it's too thick, you don't want really good. It might do, I don't know. You can try it if you want to, so, um, yeah. Um, that's done. So you want to go to... Go to this little um, ball here. And you want to click this blue little thing here. And it's like, that's for the uh, background. I'm not sure what that's for. But that's for the uh, text. So, yeah. When, you, when you've uh, selected the colour, like that, you just click. And then just move it away. And it will change. So I want um, black background, and white text, and check what it looks like. You can press F12, and there it is here. You can zoom in or if you look at it. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, next, um, you want to com put your um, cursor to the right side. Right click and put split area, and then you just click again, and you have this extra tab here. Click the little um, like table thing here. You want to change it to timeline. And you see, you've got timeline here. You might want to change it to well, 250 is like 10 seconds long. Uh, 90, that's three seconds long. You, you don't want it like too big, so we're going to make it quite short. So we're going to put it at 90. So there you go, and then start here yeah, one. So we want to click record. Sorry, sorry, I, forgot, I missed a bit out. Sorry, press spacebar again, add and add a camera. You don't have to add this camera, but you can if you want to. So, like, drag it to about in the middle of your text or middle of whatever you got, and you want to click view camera and this is the um, standard camera zoom all the way out and see a um, blue arrow drag that all the way up to the top so you can see this and then you change to this camera here press view go to cameras and then click camera 001 and it will come it will show this camera now so now I've got that if you want to select your text again right click it so you can, you can drag it back so I just want to move it over here, and then so I'm going to drag it into there. So, when the, yeah, click record, and then change it to add re slash replace keys. And then when you, oh, I'll just move it like a tiny bit there. So then it will be yellow. Look, it will change to a yellow bit, and that shows that keyframes added. Then change it to like 10, 20. Just keep changing to them. Change it to there. 
and that's not even in the box yet, but sometimes you put it like there, and then it was some reason why it shows it. So, uh, drag it to there. Just keep dragging it. And this is uh, quite good for making intros. It's better than uh, any other thing I've tried. So I'm just going to make it go in and then go back up to the top. For the last one, I'll drag it out of the way so you can't see it at all. And that's done. If you want it um, HD, just obviously just click the HD down here. Oh, sorry, uh, you have to click that first. So you've got these here. This is all the different uh, types of stuff. And you want to click that, the very end one, and it will say HD. If you want it HD, you can have it um, change the size here. If you want it um, seven, you can change to seven twenty by four eighty. That will make it you know seven twenty p. That will make it um, a decent standard, but I prefer HD. Of course, it's a lot better, obviously. So um, instead of JPEG, change it to QuickTime. If you haven't got QuickTime, I'll put it in the link in the description if you can download it. Because you don't want it to JPEG because it would um. If you, it will save each individual frame into your um, photos, and there's about over a thousand frames, so it will take the piss. So you want to go to, um, oh, you've, you've done that, click this little uh, box over here, like the top one, and then this where you save it to, so you want to click that little arrow there, and go to desktop, and just click select output pictures. That's done that. Um, I think that's everything done. So, yeah, you just click Anim, which is Animate, and then it'll come up here, and it's, it's black at the moment, that's because my text is just over here, it's going to drag in like this. So, um, yeah, I'm recording on Hypercam here, look, I'll, just, I'll pause it, and then when it's done, I'll show it as light, okay? Okay, it's done. Oh yeah, yeah this is what I'm just uh, talking on. See, it's all there. So um, yeah. Sorry, where is it? Here it is. So it's done. I'm just going to show you one more useful thing. What to use? So let's get it back again. Oh, the green one. There you go. So I'm just going to show you one more useful tip thing. Right. Well, when you selected the text, you can press S, move it around to make it bigger. So that's like zooming in, whatever. That's just one uh, another useful tip I was gonna tell you about. Let like, make it bigger, and then you can like scroll it in, whatever you know. Just for cool that. Okay, yeah, that's just one shit all the time. So it's done here, like 89 frames. I know I had 90, but I didn't click 90, so 89. But don't make a difference really. So if you close that, it'll close all of it. And now I've got that again. Um, you save to your desktop here. So I'm double click it. I've um, using um, AVS4. That's the um, thing I record to record my games. Oh, I'm playing COD. Right, hold on. I know that's not supposed to happen. It's just fucked up there. Right. And this is what it looks like. Don't ask me why the green bits come up there. I don't think it will actually come up when you actually. Um, Put it into like beat maker or something. It's just because um, it's just being glitched out a bit, so. So if you want to put it to move maker, I'll show you what move maker in a minute. And there'll be kind of effects to it. So you can um, make it slow down half, that's what I normally do, because sometimes it's like too quick. I'll just add it in here. And there it is. I'll see you've got some other one that says hello and that says Mark. That's my um, original. Um, or the one that I use now, the intro thing. So, we'll slow down half, just drag that in there. An effect that I always like to use are these ones. You can download them off um, a website, like download uh, different effects for Movie Maker, or no effects. And what it does is I'll just drag the yellow one in. Okay, continue registering, continue. If I play it a lot. It's a lot slower, and the yellow bit comes up, and the text will like shine yellow. It looks like they're good. So, 
thanks for watching. Just because I'm oh, la 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 la